What's up, everybody? It's your old pal Brian, and I'm here at Jack's for one of my absolute favorite things on earth: CBCS unboxing. Hey, everybody! It's Sonny from Jack's, and we're gonna open this up. Now I can't wait. It took about three weeks to come back. It's all said and done. Um, grading only, no pressing this one. I have one that's out that's going to be pressed, so I think it'll be low three weeks to get that one back. Ooh, look. It's not like a catastrophe. Hmm. All right. Let me see. Here ghost. Could be ghost. All right. Here goes. All right. This was uh, some submissions by some of my customers. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, some of these we sent out in the format where it was uh, the top loads. All right, I'll grab that. Make sure there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Just some paper. You did a really good job of packaging. Yeah. Bubble wrap and uh, paper wrapping and tons of paper. Those are crazy, but this is. That's what turns this way. You know, they, they double the return because so these cases get cracked. All right, let's look at what we got. So shiny. Now, um, let's see. I don't remember everybody that submitted these. But we'll, we'll, we'll try to get it done. We'll talk about a little bit here, a little bit there. All right, here. Why don't you take that paper there? Ooh, there's a lot of work getting this thing out here. I didn't know we were going to be exercising today. Well, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right, so let's talk about the first three things. All right. All right, we have, uh, let's straighten that a little bit. We have Moon Knight number one, we have two hobby versions. And we have one retail version, right? So we got a 6.0, a 6.0, an 8.5. This is the uh, first appearance of Bushman and the first time Moon Knight is his own comic book, right? Yep, it's a pretty classic cover too. Yep, classic cover. They've done a lot of homage covers to this, or maybe it is an homage cover. Hold that up a second. Let me try to get this other stuff down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. All right. So this is this is Amazing Spider-Man number forty-nine from two thousand twenty, not the one from nineteen sixty-seven, but this is from two thousand twenty. This is a sketch cover, verified signature of John Dell, which is a Spider-Man artist, and the sketch cover is verified also by John Dell. His autographs here, and this is a personalized sketch cover we have. But look, 9.6. That's awesome, man. Even being sketched and signed, we still got a 9.6. That's very important. Hold that up a second. That's very important to uh, to set them off good, get them good, and get them back good, you know? So, all right. So what'd you think? What'd you think about that? Oh, man, that's awesome. Look at that sketch, man. I know. Whatever, well, he's surprised he got 9.6 out of it. Yeah, man. That's, I mean, you think about how many people handled it. it was, you know, drawn on with a pencil, drawn on with a marker, signed with a marker, and still came back at 9.6. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have a, a uh, Star Wars Kane in the last Padawan number six, which is the first full appearance of Sabin Wren, Ezra Bridger, uh, C1, 10-3, Hera, and Garazab. Now, the important part of this is that Ezra Bridger and uh, Sabin Wren may be coming to one of the Mandalorian spinoffs sooner or later. You know about that book? Yeah. This is, uh, man, this is one I kind of kind of wish I had. Well, you got to get with whoever got it. <laughs> nice, sir. All right. The back is cool. Yeah. Luke hanging upside down. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So let's talk about the next one. Ooh, this is a classic, 
classic uh, Jim Lee, uh, Jim Lee cover and art right here, number 608, signed by Jim Lee and verified. Is that the uh, first appearance of Hush? What does it say? No. Catwoman, Killer Croc, and Poison Ivy appearance. Yeah, but it is a classic Jim Lee cover, 608. 608. Yeah, 9.6, signed by Jim Lee. The most important part is it's signed by Jim Lee. So whoever submitted it to get, to get verified, good job. 9.6 is not bad. Obviously, everybody wants a 9.8, but it doesn't always occur because you handled it. The less you handle it, the more likely you have to If you handled it all, and he handled it, Jim Lee could have just touched a little bit of it and made a little bit of mark on the cover and, and reduced it from 9.8, 9.6. But that's what it is. But it's still signed by Jim Lee and verified. All right, so this is a Team Sonic Racing roll number uh, from 19 or 2018. Now, they didn't make very many of these. Um, 9.2 in this book is probably going to be about $150, $200. If this book had come back, a 9.8 would probably be like, oh man, like $400. Really? It's, it's a low print run. It's all it is, low print run. That's all it off. Yeah, one shot. Awesome. Now, we were hoping to get a better on this one. This is a Gargoyles number one, uh, based on the animated television show, embossed cover. Oh, I didn't realize it says Marvel subscription insert missing is incomplete. Uh -oh. That's why I got a seven. But the cover looks like a nine. Look at that cover. Golly, I can't believe I'm missing the insert. I didn't. I didn't look for it. I, nothing was cut out. It must have been just something that was stuck Slid in there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because another one was cut out of it. It's beautiful. Though. So the, the insert. Look at that. This, that should be like a nine, nine two. Yeah, man. Golly, seven point oh because the insert's missing. Are they making a Gargoyles movie? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I've heard rumors. Now, I've got this right here. This is a uh, Jason David Frank verified signature. Of course, he's passed away, so I witnessed. It was verified signature. Uh, it only came back at 8.5, but it is a foil cover. So we, we were running out of them because after the passing of Jason David Frank, we had sold several of our autograph uh, comic books. So we wanted to, we found one in a collection. We set it off, got verified, and it got verified. So that is Jason David Frank's signature on the cover of a foil cover. Now, this next one here is a Kevin Smith. Now, I just set this off in the top load. So this was Master Universe Revelations. Kevin Smith wrote this. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. He signed it. Now, that's two different covers. There's one cover here, one cover here. Now, I did send both of these off in the top load and I didn't handle it. I just set them off. They're already autographed, good to go, got them verified. I didn't mess with it after that. They came back 9.8s. So like I said, if you handle it less, like not at all, once you get it autographed, you put it in the top load, let it go, bring it to me, I'll send it off, and we'll get the best, the best grade we can get. And they can get top loaders here, right? Yep. Awesome. Yeah, we got top loaders here. But 9.8s by Kevin Smith. That's awesome. If you guys don't know, he, he's the director writer of like Clerks, you know, uh, Dogma, uh, Chasing Amy, Mall Rats, that, that Kevin Smith. And that's a Mike Mignola cover too. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Mm-hmm. Now, this one here is signed by Austin St. John. Austin St. John, 9.8, fellas. 9.8. Right. Uh, uh, large party kit variant sign, 9.8. Look at that. Sign. Okay. Sign in 9.8. So it's possible to get signed and get 9.8 okay. as long as you handle it less. Now, the last three here, uh, I was going to say I did really good packing on this. Really good packing because I got three signed by Christopher Lloyd. 9.8s. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, everybody. Three 9.8s signed by Christopher Lloyd. Back to the Future. That's R awesome. Really good pack in there. Everything's tight. You know, handling it is good. Look. Witnessed last month at a convention in Jackson, Mississippi by yours truly. Uh, Christopher Lloyd. Sign off. Look at that. That's awesome. Think about that. That's a cool cover, too. Yeah, look, look at that. Three in a row. Got some good packing. That's awesome. Look at that. So... Uh, whoever owns these would be super happy because 
it's impossible almost, impossible to get 9.9s out of these. I'm kind of jealous. Yeah, it's impossible to get 9.9s because they're factory made. Yeah, it is like one in a billion maybe, but, but again, I'm signed and get 9.8s, you're doing good. Yeah, for sure. 9.8s, gentlemen. All right, that's our opening for the day. I think it's a few books. So uh, again, till next time, this is Sonny from Jack's with my buddy. All right, till next time. Later.